All right, YouTube. It's Urban Bushcraft NC. I'm gonna be taking this old Craftsman mower with a 15 and a half horsepower. Still runs. This is my uh, gas tank. I crafted it. To, couldn't find a tank that would fit it. But uh, I'm gonna turn this into a battery charger tractor and possibly a welder later on in the future. This is what I'm starting with. The deck don't work anymore. It's a broken shaft. I'm charging it up. See if I can't get it started. This is the uh, first alternator I have. It's the only alternator I have right now. It's a Delco Remy. Um, I think this came off of my Grand Wagoneer. But this is what we're going to start off with. It's a three wire. You got your harness over here. Positive and negative. Ground. Whatever. We're going to make the uh, first bracket here. From right here. We're going to use uh, eighth inch, one inch, eighth inch thick, one inch L, L bracket. But what we're going to do is we're going to mount it from the back, something like this. That way it'll have room to move. This is what we come out with. Just going to fit on there like that. I'm going to get some threaded rod. I've already done it. Mark where it needs to be. We need some all thread. This is a short scrap piece I have. I've already marked it for where our nut needs, our cut needs to go. And I'm um, going to get this cut and get it started. This is a little tip when you're cutting all thread. Use some cloth so you don't scar up the threads for the next time you need to use the metal. And I'm just cutting it with a hacksaw. Standard hacksaw. And this is what we got. Now that that's done, you can see it fully. Well, it's got a good turn of angle. I mean, that's a good like 12 inch adjustment for the other side. Or maybe 10, but whatever. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut on this side. Well, maybe not. No, nah, I think that'll be all right. This is going to be our mounting piece for, or the mounting bracket for mounting this to the mower. Then we're going to have to find another piece that'll adjust for over here. I haven't figured this side out yet. I'm more worried about getting this mounted on so I'll show you that and now we got it strung up in the vise we're gonna make our cut right about here so that give us enough room to put two bolts what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sharpie and mark right about there and we're gonna cut that off with a hacksaw I might go get the saws off So this is what the bracket looks like. Cleaned up the edges, rounded them off so nobody gets scratched or cut or whatever. It's going to go on there like this. So now we're going to put our holes right here for the mounting to the frame. So this is what our bracket looks like mounted to the alternator. So two holes. It might be offset enough. Hope so. I probably should have moved it over a little more. But uh, we can probably work with that. So we're going to mount this in the front. What we're going to do is measure to where our pulleys line up. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Something like that. Mark where our bracket's going to mount to over here. And I'll show you that when it's done. This is where the bracket's going to mount. Um, a bolt for now. And I'm going to probably run a bead of weld down it down here. But 
yeah it's just clamped in place right now I'm gonna drill that hole in the back remove the clamp 